guys, I'm here to tell you the live reactions to that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Episode 7, it's slime time. Let's jump right into this, man. It's Yo, I really enjoyed the last episode just learning about Shizu and whatnot. And how, you know, she went through a world war and all that. And how she even was brought into this world. Very, very good episode. Like, honestly, just everything that was expressed. And, you know, I love how... Even though we learned about the summons, like, you know, we learned about this since the first episode. They brought it back. Like, it wasn't something that, like, was just brushed away from. I really love that because, you know, certain shows, like, they tend to ignore those things and it becomes, like, a plot hole. Like, they're like, oh, summons. Oh, yeah, let's bring it up or something. Or, like, they never bring it up. And I really like how it was handled. I can't wait to see more of the characters are just even learning more about Shizu and all of that. I'm still trying to think of, like, what else happened last episode? Like, anything great that happened? Just overall a really good episode. Like, honestly, just interaction, character development, and all that good stuff. This tune. Let's go. I'm trying to think of something I want to say. Like anything that, you know, I have in mind right now. Yo, I can't wait to start this episode. You know, like, that time I got reincarnated as a slime is kind of that anime for me. Like this season that I just love. Outright love. Look. Conqueror of Flames. Look at her body. Oh, those burns. She's only a kid. What's with that look? That means she succeeded though because the the flame went inside of her, right? What? Are they putting her in battle? He's a demon lord? That's a demon lord Leon. Is he talking to her? She's a kid, man! It looks like he's mind controlling her, though. Okay, so she can just like straight up use fire, like spit it out of her hands and all that. I thought it was just with the sword, but okay. So it's really like she can do anything fire related. That's pretty awesome. Shizu A. Look short. Oh, look at this. Looks like that Pokemon. Which one am I thinking about? Forgot her, the name. Aww. Oh yeah, when you name stuff, they get powers. Look at that. Because we named him Pizu.
Look at that. He doesn't like Leon. I don't blame him. Oh, he's going to make Shizu kill Pizu. Why does he do that, though? He's burning her, too! What's up with this dude? You just get a piece of shit! He burned the girl, too? Yo! Oh my gosh, so he- She- She can't have control! He can make her do whatever? What type of shit is this, man? That's when she was younger. Like, you could tell, like, I heard, like, the voice. It's a bit more high-pitched, childish-like there. Wait. Look. So is that... So what I'm trying to get is that's when, like, the... Of course, the... Leon's trying to control her, or is that like the spirit inside of her, the flame spirit? I believe it's when Leon controls her. And when she's like that, she does crazy things. Maybe that also signifies why she wears a mask. I like Shizu a lot. No, don't leave us. Leon. Kill him probably. Tell her, no, don't leave. You know, she has freedom. She can leave. Shit. But no. So, you see, because of what she's going through, she can't travel with people. Because because of her, they can be in harm's way. You know, now I, like, she, it's shown that she's grown up. But what was also shown is that she doesn't age from this certain age she's in, it looks like. Because if she was here from World War, right? It's been many years, you know, the time Riveru is in, it's been years. Oh no. It's happening. Are you? Yeah, but like I'm saying, like she's been here since World War II. That's like a lot of years, you know? I 
I love how you see her hair. You have that other fire effect making the hair. The Conqueror of Flames. Do with what you're told. Rimuru's got this man. Don't doubt him. Look at that, she's crying. She's crying, she doesn't want to do this. Giving up hope? Look at that! <laughs> Yo! That little shield that he used! Oh my gosh, I feel bad. The way he just, it just blew right off. Wow, everything we built being destroyed. She's what respect. Yeah, respect. Exalt. Can he talk? He doesn't want to talk, he just wants- Look at that! You think things were weak or something? You see how he heard of that little fireball? Guys, don't get too cocky. Use black lightning? Or was it black thunder we called it? Our main objective is to hit Ifri without hurting Yuno Shizu. It is possible. Oh no, that's a big risk to take, no way! I feel like what Rimuru 
Spirit should try to do is learn that attack and use that. Yeah, because if Rimuru gets the magic, just do it. What do you mean you don't know if you can? Now we can get this attack. Look at that. They're done? It's a good shotgun. Took the blow for his friends. But you know what's so funny? It's like you see Rimuru, he's just a slime fighting Ifrit. Like look at Ifrit all humanoid and whatnot. Fighting a little slime hoppy. <laughs> it's just funny to me. This guy in the summons? I see what they're doing. No! Yo, Rimuru's Root's in there? It doesn't look like it's affecting it? Short slave. <laughs> yeah, see, look at the fire resistance. There is the Rimuru I like and love. Look at that. You can't break out of that because that's him?
It doesn't work, Ifrit! Look at that! If it's like, where am I? Verudora? Is that Verudora? situation we did know Rimuru has like fire resistance and whatnot but you know like I thought it was doing damage to him like for example when you just see him like kind of melting kind of effect I was like oh he's you know he's being hurt but it's shown like you know it's explained that you have fire resistance so you're not really taking damage and that's why we were able to get rid of you know to defeat Ifrit and you know just seeing Verudora this episode I love it because you know we love Verudora here we all love him he's this great awesome dragon he's our friend Verudora Tempest Tempest crew you know what I mean Rimuru Tempest and just seeing him this episode and you see we know he's there he's there we see him now so it's like what's up what, what is the plan that was awesome that was pretty badass how we just took Ifrit out so does that mean right that Ifrit is no longer inside of, you know, of course, Shizu. So is that what that signifies? And by Ifrit not being inside Shizu anymore, does that signify that Leon doesn't have control of her anymore? But then again, if that's the case, does she not have the ability to wield fire? So is she hopeless now? Not hopeless, but like weak. I mean, she still has a sword, so maybe... But then again, I think the way it worked was because she could, you know, use fire, the sword was beneficial because she would just use fire within the sword. If you kind of get me. So while she's doing an attack, she would just, like, centralize fire on the sword and it would do the attacks like that. That's how I was looking at it. But maybe, like, she... I mean, she still has her combat abilities and whatnot. And, of course, we know, like, she has a history for, you know just being legendary 50 years she's a legendary you know what i mean so of course with that into effect we know she's not a pushover she's not weak or anything of that sort but it just makes me wonder like how will this affect her you know hopefully it's for the better because i really like she's when i want to see more of her just seeing the way she lived her life and whatnot and how like she really had no control of herself like you go through world war ii and whatnot your family's everyone you know dying it's so sad and then to be put into this situation like where you have no control over yourself, you're like a slave, you know, it's sad. But yeah, thank you for watching. You know, also it kind of brings up a point, right? If Venudora, like not Venudora, if Rimuru can save people like summons, for example, like if he can save, you know, Shizu from her like contract of being a summon, you know how like you're a slave to your summoner? then wouldn't that necessarily mean that Rimuru can save more summons? Because we do know there's more summons in the world. That's pretty awesome to kind of think about if you look at it like that. So Rimuru could literally have like, you know, be a savior to these people who have been put into this world. Yeah, but that's pretty much everything. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, you're amazing, yo. Peace out.